What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. For this camera comparison we have one of the latest cameras from Insta360, the One R, and the latest camera from GoPro, the GoPro 8 Black. So you can buy the Insta360 One R for about $299, where the GoPro 8 Black for about $350 to $400. So does this mean that the GoPro 8 is better? Well, you're definitely gonna find out. So I have a bunch of sample videos that I want to show you, and uh, before I play those, I just wanna tell you my thoughts. So first of all, the image stabilization seems to be better on the videos filmed um, with the Insta360 ONE R. And that is um, quite a surprise, because I was expecting that it would be the other way around, but no. The videos um, taken by the Insta360 ONE R do seem to have better um, image stabilization. Secondly, I prefer the colors from the Insta360 ONE R um, because the sky looks more natural and overall the colors are more pleasant to look at. Not to mention that in most of those um, videos taken by the Insta360 ONE R, the dynamic range seems to be better. However, sharpness wise, um, the GoPro 8 Black does better. As for the sound recordings, well, once again, I think I prefer um, the Insta360 ONE R, but definitely leave a comment down below and let me know um, your thoughts. As for nighttime recordings, well, none of the cameras does that great, considering their price anyways, but um, it does seem that the recordings from the Insta360 ONE R have way less um, noise. So um, what I'm gonna do next, I'll uh, play a bunch of sample videos that um, I've recorded the other day and uh, I'll let you guys watch them and I'll be right back. Alright, we have our first recording between the Insta360 ONE R and um, the GoPro 8 Black. I'm currently recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and at this resolution both cameras have um, image stabilization. Now the GoPro 8 I can select the boost image stabilization at this resolution where um, the Insta360 ONE R I can select the flow state uh, stabilization or whatever they have that um, name. So this is how recording between these two cameras would look like while riding um, a bicycle. Next we are moving on to a quick microphone test and I'm talking about the internal microphones on the GoPro 8 and of course uh, the internal microphone on the Insta360 ONE R. For this recording I'm doing 4K at 30 frames per second and um, the image stabilization is set to boost on the GoPro 8 and um, flow state on the Insta360 ONE R. So this whole recording would sound under these conditions on these two cameras. And I'm also recording in 4K 30 frames per second. For our next recording I'm doing 4K at 60 frames per second between the Insta360 ONE R and of course the GoPro 8 Black. Um, at this resolution both devices have uh, EMI stabilization and uh, the level of EMI stabilization is set to the highest possible um, for this um, resolution um, obviously and as you can probably see for yourself i am um, riding the bike so it is a bit bumpy and also a bit windy so this is how recording between these two cameras would look like under these conditions for this recording we are checking out the imi stabilization on the insta360 one r and of course the gopro 8 black so for this recording i am using the maximum levels of stabilization on um, both cameras and as you can probably see for yourself i am walking and i am recording in 4k at 30 frames per second so we'll turn um, around this way and we'll walk a bit faster so with the gopro 8 if you select the boost in stabilization um, the camera does crop in a bit more but you do get better um, image stabilization in my um, opinion. So this is how a recording would look like if you are peacefully walking basically and holding the camera. For this recording we have a quick running test between the Insta360 ONE R and of course the GoPro 8 Black. So I'm um, recording in 4K 30 frames per second, the GoPro 8 is set um, with the image stabilization set to boost, where um, the Insta360 ONE R is set to flow state. So let's go running for a bit so we can see which camera does um, the best for running. So this is how recording from these two cameras would look like if you are running. And of course we are moving on to another quick um, recording between the Insta360 ONE R and the GoPro 8 Black. So we'll go up these stairs here. I'm currently recording in 4K at 30 frames per second and um, at this resolution I have uh, the boost image stabilization set on the GoPro 8 
and uh, the flow um, state EMI stabilization um, set on the Insta361R. So next we'll go this way a bit. We'll try to cross the road slowly if there are no cars coming, of course. So let's pan these to the right and then back left and we'll walk this way. So yeah, this is our recording in 4K 30 frames per second between the Insta 361R and the GoPro 8 um, Black would look like. For our last um, daytime recording between the Insta 361R and uh, the GoPro Hero 8 Black, I've um, switched the image stabilization on the GoPro 8 to high. So I'm not using the boost image stabilization, but this way um, we don't crop as much um, from the field of view because um, when you're using the boost uh, image stabilization, you do crop more from um, the field of view. So we'll walk this way slowly. Just so you can see how uh, how the image stabilization works um, this way. On the Insta 361R, I'm still using the flow uh, state image stabilization level. So we'll walk slowly this way, and we're gonna turn right somewhere around here. So from what I'm seeing on the screen here on the GoPro 8, the stabilization does look uh, better. So yeah, this whole recording in 4K at 30 frames per second between these two cameras would look like. And we are moving on to another recording between the Insta 316 1R and uh, the GoPro Hero 8 Black. For this recording I'm doing 1080p, with the GoPro 8 I'm doing 1080p at 240 frames per second and with the Insta361R I'm doing 1080p at 200 frames per second. That is the maximum um, resolution that you can select, the maximum frames per second that you can select for um, 1080p recordings. So I'll go uh, as close as I can to the water. Hand right slowly and we'll go back up the stairs. So, yeah, this whole recording in 1080p at 240 frames per second on the GoPro 8 and 200 frames per second on the Insta 360 1R would look like. All right, and since we are here anyways, um, we might as well do another running test in 4K at 60 frames per second, of course, between the Insta 361R and uh, the GoPro 8 um, Black. So I have um, the level of image stabilization set at the maximum uh, possible on both cameras. So let's go running and uh, see how they do. So yeah, this is how recording between these two cameras would look like if you're recording in 4K at 60 frames per second and running. Alright, and we are moving on to a quick um, video test, but this time around in low light. As you can probably see, it is um, nighttime. So I'm um, using the Insta360 ONE R and the GoPro 8 Black, and I'm recording in 4K at 30 frames um, per second. The image stabilization is also on um, at this resolution. So I'm gonna turn right here. Gets a bit darker um, around here. And honestly, I cannot see anything on uh, either screen. So pretty dark. So yeah, this is how recording in between these two cameras would look like at night in 4K at 30 frames per second. And since I'm here anyways, I might as well show you a recording done in 4K at 60 frames um, per second between the Insta360 ONE-R and the GoPro 8 Black. I'm walking normally and from what I'm seeing on the screen here, the image does look a bit brighter um, on the GoPro 8 Black. But again, I'll go, I'm gonna have to see how this footage actually looks um, on the computer. So yeah, this whole recording in 4K at 60 frames per second in low light looks between these two action cameras. 
So what do you guys think? Which camera do you prefer for daytime recordings and which camera do you prefer for um, nighttime recordings? Now, I also took a bunch of daytime pictures yesterday, but unfortunately I cannot find the folders where I've put the daytime pictures. And today it's snowing and it's super windy out, so I can't really go out and take more pictures. So I only have um, a few pictures that I took um, at nighttime. And for nighttime pictures, the GoPro 8 does um, seem to do better. For daytime pictures, from what I've seen before um, losing all those pictures, they did seem to be somewhat similar. But I will try to include a bunch of pictures when I do a full review on the Insta 361 R. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what camera you prefer for daytime recordings for nighttime recordings. Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.